Cummins introduced EX ratings for the X15 Efficiency Series and increased availability to X12 engines in 2021. EX ratings pair the engine with the Eaton Cummins Endurant HD transmission, along with a GPS look-ahead device like the Cummins Acumen module or a compliant OEM module. The EX ratings deliver many drivability and fuel economy features. One of these features is called On-Ramp Boost. Here with us today are two experts from Cummins to help walk us through what drivers and fleets will experience when this feature is active. Hi, I'm Russ Poling. And I'm Chris Tasnick. So Chris, tell us a little bit about On-Ramp Boost. Does the driver actually get extra power? <laughs> Not really, Russ. So On-Ramp Boost, which is an exclusive feature to Cummins, temporarily modifies fuel economy oriented features and transmission shift points to performance settings when the GPS recognizes the driver's entering an on-ramp. This temporary modification unleashes the full power of a Cummins engine. Is anything needed from the driver for this feature to turn on? Will it activate on every on-ramp? Drivers just need to be on an on-ramp with the accelerator at 100%. The feature will automatically activate it's always there for you, and it will get you up to speed more rapidly, making it easier to merge with traffic. To answer your second question, Russ, not all on-ramps may be in the GPS data. On-ramps from, say, a rest area may not be there, but typically these are long enough to get up to merging speed. For a better understanding of how on-ramp boost benefits the driver, let's compare the performance of a truck with and without on-ramp boost enabled. In this scenario, the same truck with the same load is entering Interstate 65 headed northbound. The truck with on-ramp boost enabled is truck one. The truck without is truck two. Both trucks enter the on-ramp at a very similar speed in eighth gear, yet truck one will be able to reach merging speed faster. Truck two without on-ramp boost accelerates to 39 miles per hour and the transmission shifts into 10th gear when the engine speed is only 1550 RPM. On the other hand, on-ramp boost activates in truck one at 32 miles per hour in ninth gear. Truck one continues in ninth gear and reaches 43 miles per hour before shifting into 10th gear at an engine speed of 1700 RPM. This additional time in ninth gear allows truck one to reach a higher vehicle speed before shifting. As the trucks continue along the on-ramp, Truck 2 shifts into 11th gear at an engine speed of 1460 RPM with a vehicle speed of 48 miles an hour. At the same time, Truck 1 is already traveling at a vehicle speed of 52 miles an hour and doesn't shift into 11th gear until the vehicle speed has reached 56 miles per hour and again an engine speed of 1700 RPM. So Truck 1 is the first to shift into 12th gear and meets the speed limit of 65 miles an hour. At the same time, truck two, still in 11th gear, is traveling at 59 miles per hour. Eventually, truck two shifts into 12th gear and reaches 65 miles per hour, while truck one has been at 65 miles per hour for over six seconds. Chris, now that truck one is in top gear, what happens to the powertrain operation? Truck one settings will revert to normal and on-ramp boost will be available at the next on-ramp. What happens though if the driver lifts off the accelerator while they're on the on-ramp? In the situation where the driver would lift off the accelerator, on-ramp boost will deactivate and settings revert back to normal. On-ramp boost, another great feature exclusively available with the Cummins X15 and X12 EX ratings.